what is a Rufai saying that a uh, police are about to be removed from their barracks? Who is removing them from their barracks? Okay, let's even know what this guy is talking about. I will always fight for the police. They are about to be removed from their barrack. Uh, this is coming from Rufai Husseini. Renowned media personality Rufai Husseini has pledged to advocate for police officers facing eviction from their barracks. Husseini revealed that several officers contacted him expressing their concerns about the impending removal from their homes. Why? He said, I will always fight for the police. Hosseini stated, some police officers called me yesterday, worried that they are about to be removed from their barracks. The situation stems from the fact that the barracks are not police property but belong to the Federal Capital Development Authority, FDA, which had allocated them for police use. However, since their inception, these barracks have not been rehabilitated or maintained by the police authorities leaving individual occupants to manage safe maintenance as needed after redevelopment by private developers the barracks will cease to exist and will be sold to the highest bidders current information indicates that developers will receive 60 percent of the shares while the police will take 40 percent recent developments in police barracks in Lagos state and jabi abuja have seen each occupant receiving less than two million naira to vacate their homes within a short notice period of less than three months. The sudden displacements has caused significant distress among the officers and their families. Husseini highlighted the severe impacts of this eviction on the officers' ability to maintain or to perform their duties effectively, considering the difficulties of relocation and the hardship of this time how do you expect these affected officers to perform their lawful duties please help our families from displacement he appealed the issue has sparked public outcry with many calling for a more humane and considerate approach to the eviction process as the debate continues Usaini remains steadfast in his commitment to supporting the police officers and advocating for their rights well in as much I know that uh, Usaini uh, Rufa is a is a public person, of course, most of the time he expresses himself and he speaks the language of the masses. Of course, he still wants to be, you know, a patriotic uh, citizen, because believe you me, many Nigerians do not even care about all these police, because at the end of the day, when people come out to say, oh, they want to protest about the ongoing hardship and all these uh, uh, policies of the federal government that are really affecting the people. It is the same police they will still use. The police, instead of them to even use uh, some, you know, some sort of a diplomacy to be able to say, okay, let me, let us guide you. They are, they are the ones you will see. They will just be misbehaving, be, you know, maltreating people anyhow when they are protesting. I don't understand. Unless the government tells them, okay, do it this way. We now find that uh, most of all these uh, agencies or agencies of government, they are not independent. They are not independent because they are supposed, when you when people come out for protest, you are supposed to guide them so that hoodlums or some people will not take advantage of them. But when police will begin to threaten the masses that, you know what, it is not allowed, you cannot protest this and that. Until when some lawyers will now come out, senior advocates of lawyers are that, they will come out and say, no, constitutionally people have the right to protest. If not, these people would have done, they would be aligning with the government. And if you check them, they are the most, you know, they are the ones suffering most. They are suffering. And you begin to wonder whether they are in this country. They will be, they will just be misbehaving when, you know, everywhere, whether people are protesting, whether they see you on road and all of that. That's the most of the time. People don't even care about them. When I first heard this, I was thinking that, you know, that's a mess recently, this uh, police and the soldiers, they have been, they have been battered seriously. A lot of women are just, you know, just uh, seeing themselves as we do unexpectedly. They are when you look at police work and soldiers' work, you see that they are doing they are they are very they are doing a very, very fantastic job. They ought to be doing that. But that does not take the fact away that uh, we still have good people among them. But when you see the way they behave and you know, people don't tend to to have a, a, a sympathy with them 
And coming back to the barracks, <laughs> I don't understand what this government is up to. I don't think most of all those barracks, I don't know if they are building other ones, but the ones we know, it's like the ones that have been there since when the yeah, it has, they have been there before colonial era, pre-colonial or whatever. They have been there. They have not received any touch. When you see some places, eh, you will cry. Some barracks where policemen are staying. Ah, it's unfortunate. It is really, really, really unfortunate. It's a very, very good talk, you know. This is coming from a uh, Rufai Useni. Nigeria is a crime scene that that is why we are not even welcomed anywhere. They always see us as criminals, considering how we support criminals, especially those in governments. Now, I said that there should be a total rehabilitation in the entire police force and not moving them totally from the barracks. They are one of the best only if well managed, structured, guided and financed. That is what I'm saying. Um, it is better when they are using them to defraud the citizens of their rights and destroy democracy. They were being paid to destroy democracy and fight against the citizens, thinking that they will spare them. Now it has come to them really hard. Next election, let them support evil against the people. Ah, that is a given. That is a given. So don't expect them to to be on the side of the masses. It is very, very difficult. Like I said, people are not going to be having any uh, sort of a, what is it called? Hmm. Sympathy, honestly speaking. Honestly speaking, yeah. These same police, when you do things for them, they will come after you again. So, I don't even have any business with them because they are looking for money. Nigeria has become a place where nonsense things can happen anytime, any day. Nigeria, where wicked laws are implemented without considering the negative impact it will have on those concerned here yeah, now today everybody go chop uh breakfast last 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 everybody will be served breakfast so guys uh, let's know what you think and have your take on this thank you